Have you ever wondered if a beach cruiser fat tire bike can survive some mountain biking trails? Well, today's your day because we're going to find out. Oh. Holy shit. So we got a completely stock fat tire bike here. This is the Corsa Mammoth Edition. Totally different from my uh, supplement company, Mammoth Land of Supplements. And today we're going to see how this stock bike does on the trails. 44 teeth up front. 28 on the highest back so terrible for climbing hills so we're gonna be working hard but let's get to it got a good little single track up here and as we get started here i want to rate this bike in three different categories sketchiness fun and value so let's get started with sketchiness so honestly guys this bike is pretty sketchy to ride it does not inspire too much confidence while riding i already upgraded the brakes to hydraulic and they're still not great. You tend to kind of struggle to stop. And then you have the tires, which are great for rocky sections, but with the tread design for beach riding, they tend to really slide out on turns and not grip well. Now I did find some knobbies online for this bike, but they're 60 bucks a pop, so I'm not sure if we're gonna make that upgrade. Then we have the handlebars, which are great for beach cruising and honestly a comfortable riding position, but they're just not sturdy enough to trail ride. They tend to kind of move a little bit. Um, and you don't really feel planted, so this is going to give me 3 out of 5 in the sketchiness category. Now the next category is fun. Now for the record, I don't have a full suspension mountain bike. This was my first mountain biking experience. <laughs> Yo! Now I'm going to give this bike a 3 out of 5 for fun. Now I'm sure having a better suspension, brakes, gears, less weight, all adds to the fun. But this bike delivered plenty enough for my skill level, plus I could also ride it on the beach. So the last category here is value. So it's easy to want a better bike without actually needing it based on the trails available to you or your skill set. So I got this bike for 220 bucks used on Facebook and Marketplace. So I'm gonna give it a five out of five on value because it gets me out here for basically nothing. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Almost lost it there. So that's it for today. The bike's in one piece, I'm in one piece, pretty gassed. But if you guys wanna see what this bike can do with a few more upgrades, we're talking front shocks, we're gonna go down on a sprocket and then also add a different sprocket on the back. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Holy shit. Oh man. Let's hit it again. There we go.